how you doing? I want to take this cornmeal, put it in here, cast iron Dutch oven, and put it in my fireplace, see if we can bake cornbread. What could go wrong? Okay, that's not gonna split. Try something else. Isn't that just a great feeling, splitting? Um, this is scrap wood I'm gonna cut up. I am a big fanboy of cornbread. I've cooked it outside, I've cooked it in my little oven, I've done all sorts of cooking with it, and I thought, here's the fireplace, we're gonna use it anyway, why don't we use it to cook our food? Right? Scrap wood, oak, matches. Hi, hi Andy, what's up? You want a piece of wood? There you go. Go. Actually, it's not a great idea to give your dogs pieces of wood, okay? Simple fire. You don't need a big fire, you just need coals. Hello. Good. <laughs> and you need love, right? Is it a sculpture? I just want to do that three log tripod thing because we're not making a <laughs> giant fire. Um, I don't think you can hold it once you set it on fire. Oh, balance. It's still up. And it's fire. All right, fire good. When I close these gates and I open up the bottom vent, it like whooshes it up. So that's what we want. And it keeps it safe from the you know who's. Oh, there goes my fire. Are you staying away? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. That's getting like coal territory. Well, I mean, you know, ember. Is that the word? Ember? Coals? We want, you don't want flame to cook your cornbread. You want uh, those red hot embers there. And then I threw another piece of wood on here to kind of have some embers to go. Kind of like when you make a second batch of charcoal briquettes. That's our second charcoal briquette. What do you guys want over there? Come on. This is my uh, brick storage facility. Have you seen any of our pizza oven videos? You will, uh, link up at the end. But this is where I keep all my brick. Oh, and that's a Labrador. But we just need a couple pieces of brick here. Ready? Let's go. Come on. So into our Dutch oven, we're gonna do four tablespoons. This is uh, bacon trimmings. I want one and a half cups of cornmeal, half cup of flour. That's a little dry, but half a cup of sugar. One and a half teaspoons, baking powder, a teaspoon, a teaspoon, salt. And two eggs, mix those up. All right, this is looking nice. I put some extra pieces on. They will come in handy later. I'm gonna push the burning pieces over to the side here. Side fire, let's just call it. Look at these coals. This is great. It's exactly what we want here. You can't feel my face melting, but it is. Um, it's melting. This is hot. So we're gonna melt the bacon fat in the Dutch oven in the fire. So you wanna make a circle of foil, like this, and then this is gonna go around like this. And just connect the two, crimp that together. This will come in handy, just wait. That's melted, nice. Eggs go into the batter. And I'm gonna take these coals 
and put them on the top. So I've got coals in the bottom, coals on the top, coals ready to go. The scrap wood from your shop, you know, old two by fours and stuff, they, they burn right quick, but they also burn fast. So I mix it up with some hardwood as well. So the dilemma here is when is it cooking? When is it done? Because you can't, you can't just set your Dutch oven for 350 degrees in your fireplace, right? So I think when we start to smell it, smell cornbread, we'll lift the lid and check it. I'm gonna turn this 180 degrees because a lot of the heat is coming from here. I'm gonna take one of these burning logs and put it over here. So I'm curious, I just had lunch, uh, leftover pizza. I'm, I forgot when I started this, but that's, that just happens. Uh, but anyway, let's take this out and see what's going on, okay? So when I pull this off, there's gonna, I think some ash might fall in here because uh, I forgot to wrap this with aluminum foil. That's my fault, so. Wow, that is cooked and a little overcooked, I think. All right, I think, I think the bottom is burnt. One side's pretty toasty. Yo, I had the, a fire over in the corner. I mean, life's a big experiment, so is Garden Fork, so I'm gonna try and scoop this puppy out and um, it's a little too crunchy for crunchy cornbread, but you're, you're learning, you know, you're learning how it goes. So hold on, taste test. That's oh, really good. And it came from your fireplace. Nice, huh? You wanna do some more cooking with me? So this is some videos floating right here. Some more outdoor stuff, cornbread stuff, Dutch oven stuff, me talking with my mouth full, sorry. You and I, right here. See you in the next video.